Win the incredible Steigercraft 21DB Miami, powered by a Yamaha 200, in the ultimate season-long multiple species subscriber-only fishing competition, the Fisherman's 2017 Dream Boat Fishing Challenge. Go to thefisherman.com and enter today. I'm John Skinner and this week's video tip deals with early season fluke fishing. Uh, the situation here is that uh, it's early in the season. The sand eels that these fish normally feed on have not quite moved into, uh, in this case, Long Island Sound yet. Um, and so you need to find an alternate bait source. And what I've done here is I've moved in pretty close to the beach and you see all that grunge on the bottom, all of that clutter. That clutter holds crabs and more importantly in this case, um, it attracts juvenile fish and uh, juvenile porgies, little bergals and so forth. And that's the alternate bait that will uh, draw these fish in early in the year. So that's one type of structure. Um, this is another, just plain old, big old hard structure. That's, I guess that's part of a wreck. I'm not quite sure what that is. Uh, certainly big boulders. Other things like that would be good. You saw as soon as we went past that, uh, a fluke came up, and then one that we didn't see um, from out of the field of view came over and hit the offering. Now here's a top view of the fishing from the same general area. Now that low level clutter does not show up on the fish finder, but it's still pretty easy to find. All you need to do, drop your jig down, and just let it drag on the bottom a little bit. And if you feel that it's very smooth, well, you probably don't have a lot of clutter down there. But I can tell you what I feel in this area it's bumpy and that's because you're hitting all those little shells all that little stuff that's down there now notice what this fish just did it regurgitated a, a bunch of stuff um, wow. and there's actually two small porgies in there and there's a piece of squid and there's a look at one of the porgies now when I suggest dragging your jig across the bottom to find the structure that's all you're doing you're trying to find that structure but the actual fishing will still be the rapid vertical jigging huh. now the years that this has worked best for me uh, was when the season opened and the waters are still cold and I think that's you know what we pretty much have this year the water temperatures are still running behind a little bit uh, you can see I just have gotten that junk out of the net and she's got another one and uh, this is fast paced fishing you saw all those fish that are down there uh, on the underwater camera it this bottom clutter these juvenile uh, fish of other species the crabs and so forth uh, these draw in a lot of fish and uh, you know I'm still not gotten myself back in the water I'm still throwing fish scraps back in and yet she's connected again so this is uh, you know an excellent bite you can see we're not very far off the shore and for me this has worked out to be an excellent approach uh, early in the year when the waters are still cold especially if the sand eels haven't moved in yet around 10 days after we had this trip uh, I came back here the place was devoid of life the sand eels had moved into the sound and the fish set up on them and they're more traditional grounds Good luck with the start of the new fluke fishing season, and if you don't find the fish where you expect to find them, consider trying some heavier structure. Win the incredible Steigercraft 21DB Miami, powered by a Yamaha 200, in the ultimate season-long multiple species subscriber-only fishing competition, the Fisherman's 2017 Dream Boat Fishing Challenge. Go to thefisherman.com and enter today.